Cochrane's work is appreciated. Though his constituency was marginally cut, he increased his personal vote at the last election by close on a thousand. Then too, for the first time in local history, Labour outpolled Fine Gael. This in Stevie's book, Justified All. His left, right and centre attitudes confirmed his certainty he was reflecting the feelings of his people. So he laughs at the socialist philosophers of his party, the intellectuals, he calls them. I would say that I could learn as much from a fellow sweep in the streets or somebody that, that, that I would, that other people would accept as an Amadan. He'll teach me something that I didn't know. So that this intellectualism again is a thing that, that needs translation in, in its own sense. There are people who take this cloak of intellectualism about themselves and I declare to God they wouldn't, they, they wouldn't know their way across the road in political life. And you feel that the intellectuals of your party know nothing about political well, uh, life? Some of them, yes, definitely. They have a lot to learn. Does it worry in the least that people like Noel Brown say that you'd be no last to the Labour Party? Well, Noel Brown has said a lot of things from time to time and he has, he has contradicted himself so often and he has changed himself so often that you're, nobody knows where they stand with Noel Brown. I don't anyway. But why are you so opposed to the intellectuals of the Labour Party? After all, you've clashed with them constantly. Because these alleged intellectuals, as we'll call them, try to exploit my position as mayor of Limerick here while I held that honoured office as first citizen of Limerick. And they try to exploit me in my position to do something which, first of all, I didn't agree with. And certainly, I was not going to be blackmailed no, I was not going to be exploited by these people. I serve the people of Limerick. That's my job. Do you think that these intellectuals have had too much influence on Labour Party policy? Well, they're, they're pushing themselves too much before they have learned the rudiments of what political life is, in, a, in rural Ireland particularly. But doesn't this imply, because you say the intellectuals have projected themselves too much, doesn't this imply a criticism of the leadership of Mr Corish? Well, no. Uh, with regard to that, I'm afraid I'd, I'd prefer to, to hold my view at this stage on that. But are you happy with the leadership of the party? Well, no. I suppose there are times when every captain has to be criticised or maybe we differ with any captain in any team. And there are times when we differ. But you have been criticised by Mr Corris. Do you think he's taken a firm enough line with other people in the party? Well, I have been criticised and repudiated and reprimanded publicly by him for my actions. I didn't think it was just. I still didn't think it was giving me a fair crack of the whip without first of all consulting me with what I did say and what I intended to say and what was reported about me. But do you think he should have taken a similarly hard line with other members of the party? Well, that's a matter for himself. I'm speaking for myself, Steve Cockland. What do you think he should have done? Well, I know that, that there shouldn't be there shouldn't be two laws anyway. Would you like to see a change in the leadership? Well, no, I, I, I would not at this stage anyway. The kind of leadership Cochrane wants is one which will understand his local politics and slap down on hardline socialists in the party. Much like the other parties. Cochrane liked its socialism, its republicanism, the fact they were looking for a better deal for the working man. By the minister, Good. Mr. Cully, and Handing it over He was not worried by the party's no, national no, failure. No, no, it wasn't going to affect him. We were a very happy family then. Very, very happy. There was no disunity. We had a great mixture, particularly with a great rural mixture, of men who were 20 and 25 years members of Dalian. And unfortunately, I've lost most of them. They were the best friends I ever had. Do you think there's an essential conflict between the socialism of Labour Party headquarters and the attitudes of the people in the country? Can Labour, for instance, have a rural base? Well, it was originally, it was a rural, it had a rural base. And the land and Labour was there long ago. Davis was a Labour man, if you wish. And all along the line, we had the fight of the security of tenure. That was Labour, in other words. And... Uh, there is room, provided, provided we get the right men to project the image and put it over onto the people in rural Ireland. And we had them. We had four deputies, I think, in Cork. We haven't any now. We had one in Waterford. We haven't any now. 
We'd won in Arthur Prairie. We haven't any now. What are they? Is that not rural Ireland? What do you think is necessary to win back seats in the country? Uh, a good projection and hard work. What kind of policies? What kind of attitudes? Policies that, that people, ordinary, plain, working class people will understand. Not highfalutin, high-toned language. Not highfalutin ideas. Only the ordinary, come day, go day, every day's work of ideas that men and women go through every day of their life. And you think that the Labour Party, in seeking equality on their terms, are using the kind of language that the plain people of Ireland, as you describe them, can't understand? A lot of them do not, yes. They do not understand this, this, this highfalutin stuff that's going on at the present time. Should it go back then to a more of a rural workers type of party? Definitely. And we should, and as far as I'm concerned, and in the car, as long as I'm in Dalian, it will be my business and my duty to try and project that image that we must get into rural Ireland, into the small town and village, and try and build up a good organisation by creating employment in these places. How safe is Cochrane? Pretty safe, he'd say. He doesn't worry about national respect. He won't get it anyway. In his view, he's done better. He's got the common touch, and he's got his people. <laughs> 